Uh, big win. How does it feel to score a goal in the playoffs? Uh, no, obviously it was nice to get the goal, uh, but more importantly, got got a win. How comfortable are you coming in here and playing, especially since you played a lot last year? Like you look a lot more comfortable than someone who hasn't played a playoff game all, all series, all, all year. Yeah, uh, no, I'm I'm just trying to play my game. Uh, guys out there help me a lot, and uh, you know I think uh, you know I want to help the team win. Philip, you, you take a shot from the point through some traffic. I don't know if you think it's going in, but when it does go in, what are you thinking? What happens? Uh, no, I'm, I was just trying to get it on that, and it was nice to see it go in. What does Ryan Nugent Hopkins mean to, to this group in this room? Say again, what sorry. What does Ryan Nugent Hopkins mean to this group in this room? He's the longest serving. He's here for the, for the tough times. Uh, no, he means a lot. You know, he's uh, he's a veteran and he's a leader in this room, and you know he helps uh, young guys like me, uh, you know, feel comfort comfortable, and you know he's a great hog player as well. So. Well, you had a shift in the first period where you bobbled the puck once or twice, and you went onto the bench. And Paul Coffey was there, talking you through some things, gave you a pat on the shoulder pads, and then you deliver in the second. Can you maybe share, maybe not exactly what he said, but what the tone of that conversation was like? Uh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm trying to play my game, and uh, you know, uh, I want to make plays out there, and you know, make tape tape passes sometimes, and you know, sometimes it doesn't work out, and you know, you just kind of keep your head high, and uh, you know, um, do your best out there. What was it like waiting for your opportunity? I know there's times this year you're frustrated because you didn't get it, but waiting in the playoffs and, and make, trying to make the most of it when it did come. Sorry. I didn't uh, hear. What was it like waiting to get a chance to play? Uh, no, obviously I I want to get in, and it was nice to get in the lineup and you know get a feeling of the playoffs. So no, it was fun. It's a stressful time of the year, but it's also a fun time. How have you kind of balanced the pressure about enjoying what you know a big win and, and moving forward? Uh, no, I'm enjoying every second. Uh, you know, uh, it's nice to be playing, and uh, you know I'm just trying to enjoy it. What's well, just scored your you know a playoff role in the National Hockey League? Who will you phone tonight? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably my family and my girlfriend. Uh, but uh, you know, it was nice that I could get that goal. But it's more important than we got the win. So what's, what's it like to watch that power play when it's doing its thing? From, from where you are uh, no, it's a un unbelievable power play, and you know, um, I don't know what the percentage is, but they're very good, and you know, they help us uh, win games. What's, what makes it so special? Do you think? Uh, well, I think it's five great players out there that just, um, you know, connects very well together and, uh, you know, making plays out there. What's going to say about Skinner's performance tonight for, from your perspective? Oh, I thought he was, he was unbelievable. Uh, you know, um, he made some unbelievable sa saves and, you know, um, and, you know, he was rock solid back there. What's it going to take to finish this off in six at home on Sunday? Uh, no, we just want to play our game and, you know, bring this, uh, Effort back home to Edmonton. Earlier today, Ekholm said he's rooting for you as a fellow Swede and a fellow defenseman. How's the support been in this room since you've come back? Uh, no, Ekholm is great, obviously. He's uh, a leader as well in this group, and, uh, you know, he helps me, obviously, because he's a Swede as well, but, uh, you know, he he's great towards me in the locker room as well. Uh, Chris, over here. You, just, uh, you talked this morning about how, you know, Ryan's sometimes your favorite player, sometimes you have other favorite players. Who is your favorite player tonight? <laughs> Um, I actually saw Ryan tonight, and I told him tonight he's my favorite. So, um, you know, two goals tonight, obviously on the power play, really big part of the penalty kill. Um, you know, he had a good game. A lot of guys had a good game. Front row left, Derek. Chris, did you sense this game coming? Because you guys, like you said, you played 52 good minutes the other night, and you wanted to put a 60-minute effort together. Do you sense this game coming? And is this as close as a full team effort or 60-minute effort that you got tonight? I think it was. Um, we're never going to play a 60-minute game at this point of the season where you dominate and you're the better team. And it just, it just doesn't happen. There, the other team just has too much to say, and they're a good team. Um, but tonight, through the playoffs, yeah, this probably might have been our best 60-minute effort. Um, yeah, and we're going to need more of that because um, you know going back for Game Six, uh, they're a very good team on the road. And, um, you know, we've treated this game the same as last game as a, as a must-win game. And um, game six will be a must-win game for us. Second row on the right, Nick. 
So Dry Settle and McDavid passed coffee on the Oilers all time list. So it's only Gretzky, Messier, Curry, Anderson ahead of them. In NHL history, only Gretzky and Lemieux have more points per game in the playoffs than they do. So my question is just this time of year to see them produce that way. What what are we watching right now? I I, I can't answer that. <laughs> it's uh it's remarkable this is quite an understatement to say um, what they've done. It is harder to score in the NHL, especially nowadays. And, um, you know, for them to elevate their game in the playoffs when every game's so tight checking and, um, and then for, uh, to produce like that, it's, um, you know, as a coach, it's nice having those guys on your bench, being able to put them over the boards. Uh, not only with the expect or the um, expecting the um, you know producing offense for the team, but also playing a really solid defensive game too. Center on the right, uh, Stuart Skinner didn't face a lot of action for stretches of the game, but late in that second and then in, in the third, he made several big saves. Can you just kind of talk about his play tonight and you know some of those big saves kind of early in the third where potentially could have turned a little bit? Yeah, I think the the biggest. Uh, contribution he had tonight was on the penalty kill. Yes, he, there was a lot of big saves, and those big saves on the, especially on the penalty kill, where we, they were able to get some really good looks. And Stu was just solid. You know, he was square. He was uh, quick. Um, you know, I think um, you know we win three one tonight, and I think that's a little um, skewed. I don't think we were that much better tonight. I think just. The fact that Stu made so many big saves tonight, you know, gave us a little bit of cushion and um, made it look easier than it was for, for our team. But uh, Stu obviously played a really good game. Third row on the left, Mark. Does it, does it feel like you're taking over the series? Because it looks like it. It can change so quickly. From shift to shift, um, game to game. Um, you know, we played uh, the last 50 minutes. Game five, we played really well. Overall, I thought we played really well. You know, in the third period, Dallas was the better team in the third period. I do like how we played. I thought we did a pretty good job defending. But to say that we're taking over this series, I think that's um, getting ahead of ourselves. Um, I thought we had a good game. But to take over, no, I don't feel that. Center right, Tony. Good evening, Chris. Uh, Philip Roberg had a shift in the first period where he, where he bobbled the puck twice and then immediately came on the bench, and Paul Coffey went over and talked to him for a quick second and kind of gave him a pat on the shoulders. Can you maybe talk about the presence of Paul Coffey and what it's meant to the defense corps and the group as a whole on the bench? Yeah, no, Paul's been great. He's um, pushing buttons, pulling strings. Uh, I think he's done a really good job through the season doing that, and knowing when to be hard on the guys and pushing to be better. And then also in a game like tonight where Roberg doesn't need any more pressure. He doesn't uh, need to be motivated. Um, and then he makes him a mistake. And, you know, for him to get a pat on the shoulder from a Hall of Fame defenseman who's running the defense tonight, you know, that means a lot to him. And, you know, I thought Broby has been in a really difficult situation. You know, game five was kind of a must-win game for us and he came in and played really well and then for him to come in tonight I thought he just continued to build on his game and played really well center left Daniel Chris this, this organization's five on five game has continually made strides over the years and I think we're seeing kind of the fruits of that labor now especially in this series but is it the power play that can maybe push you guys over the top um, you know we saw that tonight can, can that be kind of the difference maker for this team um you know, I think I was asked uh, this morning about um, our five-on-five -five play. Um, obviously, special teams are so important, and our special teams have been really good throughout the playoffs. Um, but, you know, even if we're not getting power plays, we can still win games just playing five-on-five. -five. Um, I think we defend really well. I don't think we get enough recognition about how good the guys are and how committed they are to playing good defensive hockey. And that's just not through the playoffs. I think they've done a really good job through the regular season also. Um, but the opportunities to get three power plays tonight definitely improves our chances of winning. 
did you feel to be one win from the final? Um, yeah, I thought it was a big win tonight. You know, um, everybody was solid. Um, right from the, the goalie out, I thought uh, everybody played real well. Ryan's been here a long time. We can just, he's here for the, the tough times. What do you say about him and the night, the night, the night that he had? Yeah, amazing. Um, you know, he, he gets asked to do so much on this team, you know, whether it's on the kill, you know, big draws on the kill, or, um, you know, he's got a big responsibility on the power play. You know, he's, uh, he's asked to do everything and, and, you know, just always delivers. Um, and tonight was, uh, was, was big. He was awesome. What do you like about how the power play attacked? This game. But the power play was better, you know. And I said earlier that it needed to be a factor, and, and uh, it certainly was today. Um, I thought we got a little bit unlucky the other night, but um, you know, found a way to uh, to contribute tonight. Chris Knobloch, Chris Knobloch said that you guys were chasing that 60-minute full effort. Did you think today was as close as you got? I thought it, it's it was as close as as uh, as it's been in a long time. I thought uh, right from start to finish we were dialed in, everything, details. Um, you know, a lot of, lot of like, a lot to like from time. You just comment about us. Do you play particularly in the third? There, he had some pretty big saves for you guys. I thought he was great uh, all night, but particularly uh, in that late kill in the second, that was really big. Um, you know, and obviously coming down the stretch in the third, made some really big saves. Um, we played pretty well in front of him. I thought there was a couple breakdowns here and there, but you know, whenever there was, um, he delivered. What's it, what's it going to take to What's going to take to to finish this off at home in Game Six? Going to take our best effort. Um, you know, there's it's four wins for a reason. Um, you know, it's tough uh, it's tough to get any wins in the playoffs, let alone four against a team. So um, they're a great group over there. They're going to respond, and, and it's going to take our best effort. Connor, like, you've been uh, doing this for a while here. You're one home win away from getting to a Stanley Cup final. What's the next day and a half going to be like for you? Um, you know, pretty standard. Um, get ready to go again. What's it like as a team in Philip Robert to see you score? Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. Um, you know, obviously a big goal, but uh, not only that, but um, skating everywhere, you know, um, skating pucks um, out of his zone. You know, it could be a one man breakout at times. Um, you know, and that's that's what he needs to do to be successful. You know, his legs are, are a gift, and um, he's got to use them to. Uh, uh, he's got to use them. Does he look more confident to you? He does to me. Yeah, he does. He looks great. The only players in NHL history that have more points per game than you and Leon are Gretzky and Lemieux. Like to produce at this time of year, what's it mean to you to be in that company? We take a lot of pride um, in in, um, in playing this time of year. You know, it's it's taken a lot uh, for our group to. Um, play games um, this time of year and uh, you know it's uh, you know, the cliche is your best players got to be your best players and um, you know Leon and I have played well but we've honestly had um, contributions from everybody um, from guys that you know are coming into the lineup that have been scratched um, you know I think of so many different guys that we've got contributions from it's been uh, um, it's been a, a, a great display of, of our depth. A lot of talk was 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 about Dal Dallas's depth, but I think our depth has really showed, um, you know, just uh, what they can do. Connor, go back to the power play. You guys over the years have shown, you know, a lot at five on five, getting better, and the series I think shows it. But is the power play kind of the thing that can maybe put you over the top? Special teams are important. Um, they are important. Um, it's tough to generate offense. Um, in the playoffs this time of year, uh, five on five, you're going against uh, good teams, um, solid teams. Um, you know the power play can be um, an advantage, um, and our power play has been doing it for a long time together. And and uh, you know we know what we're doing out there, and and we want to contribute. Um, we want to be a factor. Do you feel any of that mojo from the LA series kind of finally kind of come through on the power play tonight? Um, you know what, I think for as much as our power play gets talked a lot about our skill, um, it starts from our work. It starts from winning pucks, pucks back, um, you know, getting pucks off the wall, um, entries, being clean on entries. Um, it's all the little things that, um, that, that set our power play up to, to be successful. In the last, this is a series of momentum and it was back and it was fourth. The last five periods you guys have had it and you've been able to keep it. Did you figure something out here or is, what do you think? Uh, you know, everyone talks about momentum in a series. Um, you know, it shifts from game to game. Um, we were able to put together two good games, and, you know, that's all it is. Um, we've put ourselves in an opportunity heading home to, uh, uh, to win a big game, but that's all we've done. We've got a lot of, a lot of work to do. Right, Ryan, we talked, sorry, we talked this morning about, about the tough times, the dark days. What, what does a night like tonight mean to you, pushing the team one win from the Stanley Cup final? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, 
we, we give ourselves a chance here. So uh, that's all you can ask. I thought we played a great game. A pretty full 60, uh, and now we get a, get a chance to close it out at home, on home ice. So it's going to take... Uh, Going to take everything in an effort like uh, we had tonight. Four throw center. Stu, you had uh, stretches there in the second in particular where it wasn't that busy. Then all of a sudden it seemed to get very busy uh, early or late in the second and early in the third. Uh, can you just kind of talk about your game and how you're able to kind of, I don't know if switch on is the right word, but just kind of, you know, stay focused? Yeah. Um, I think for me, some t I mean, I'm sure any goalie would say the same thing. It's Sometimes it's harder playing in games like that and just trying to do your very best to stay mentally engaged, physically engaged. That's about all you can really do. Um, it's uh, it's ne never easy. Um, so it's just uh, in my in my favor, I've been able to have a lot of games like that, uh, the way that uh, we play. I mean, we uh, we play so well, especially when we play full, full games like that that you saw tonight. So um, I've had a lot of practice to, to be good in situations like this. Back row center, Mark. Ryan, for those of you who have been building towards this for so long, to, to be on home ice, one win from the Stanley Cup final, what do you expect that to be like? The emotions, the excitement, the pressure? Well, definitely uh, <clears throat> the crowd's going to be buzzing for sure. Um, they're going to be loud. They're going to be uh, excited. So uh, for us, I mean, uh, it's, it's about c controlling the emotions, uh, playing within ourselves, and, and just trusting our game is, is good enough to, to get the job done. Front row uh, on the left, Derek. Ryan, I know the power play had come close earlier on in the series, but that power, first power player, your first goal, it looked like there was a determination by you guys saying, okay, this is it. This is where we have to score. Like, what did you guys, did you simplify it, or how did you guys approach that first power play? Um, <clears throat> I thought last game we had just the one power play, and um, the way we were working, the way we were moving, uh, getting pucks back, I thought that was a, g a good sign for us, and it just kind of gets back to our roots. And uh, tonight we had a big faceoff. Um, Make a play, get the puck back, and and just I mean Bushi obviously letting uh, let one of his his bombs go, and puck's just sitting there. But I think it just starts with work, and uh, it uh, uh, and we kind of go from there. And I think we're our best when we're just we're playing. We obviously have our spots, but it, it's more of just f feeling the the right plays in the right situations. Center right, Tony. Ryan, I know new, you and your teammates never like talking about yourselves, so I apologize in advance, but. It's been 13 years since you were drafted by this club. To have a game like this at this stage of the season, what does that mean to you personally? Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, this is uh, this is why we play. This is why we we work so hard at at, uh, at our craft and uh, to to get ourselves in these situations and um, to be a part of a group like this is uh, it's. I mean, this is all you can ask for. And uh, like I said before, we we have an opportunity here. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work, but uh, we're excited for it. Uh, sorry to make this awkward because he's sitting to your left, but uh, you told Kyle Bukowskis in your post-game interview <laughs> with Sportsnet, quote, he's been my favorite player ever since I was a young buck. <laughs> Maybe uh, take buck. us through what it's like to see number 93 have the night he had. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. That is a little bit embarrassing because he's right beside me. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, don't be. Uh, I'm just joking, but it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, to see him, obviously, what he does on the ice, he's one of the best two-way players I truly believe in the league. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty remarkable what this guy does, his work ethic, day in and day out. But I'm more impressed with just the type of person that he is. Uh, when he's off the ice, the type of leader that he is. And um, as a young guy, he was my obviously my favorite player growing up. And uh, being able to play with him, I've I've learned a lot more. Uh, more there's a lot more to him than than just hockey. And that's uh, that's been one of the coolest things that I've been able to. Uh, you know, just watch and become uh, great friends with this guy. Fourth row on the left, Daniel. Uh, Ryan, just to go back to the, yeah. the power play, how much, uh, how much pressure were you guys feeling to pr produce on the power play and then to get it done? Does that, do you feel like this is something that could push you over the top given your five-on-five five play in the series? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, th I think we always um, have that uh, pressure from within ourselves and uh, we expect a lot from, from each other and from ourselves, so... Um, we've been pushing. They obviously don't. They don't take a lot of penalties. You don't have three, four, five opportunities a game, and to find your rhythm. So uh, going into tonight, we wanted to to make sure that if we only got one, we were going to make it count. And uh, I mean, we we got the job done. And then on the other side of it, PK. I mean, you don't want to give them too many opportunities to start feeling it, start to get into a rhythm. But 
Um, I, I thought again we were we were really good. Still, they had some looks, and and Stewie bailed us out a couple times with some big saves at the right time. And um, but I think special teams can win you games, and that's why we work so much on them throughout the season. And it's for moments like this. Stu, Stu, I'll just follow that up. Uh, what's it like watching those five guys operate when they're at their best? It's pretty special to watch. Um, I mean, it's such an elite power play for a reason. You got incredible players on all sides of the ice. Um, watching them just do their work is very impressive. And uh, yeah, I mean, what else, what else is there to say? It's just very enjoyable to watch. And uh, they come out, uh, especially in big times where we need them, they come out to play. So um, we're going to need them in uh, the upcoming games here. We're going to need them next game. As uh, same thing that he said, and uh, the same goes for the PK. Third row left, Mark. Stu, you've probably been dreaming about a chance like this since you were a kid. Uh, do you spend the next forty-eight hours thinking about those things, or do you think do you spend the next forty-eight hours trying not to think about those things? Neither. Um, just to stand in the moment. Tomorrow, I get to live my life and go on the plane and beat these guys at Mario Kart. Um, I'll probably get a couple first places. Uh, I'm sure of it. And uh, besides that, I'm just going to, you know, it's going to be awesome to go back home and be a dad. And then the next day, it's time to get back to work. So um, honestly, to give you an answer, it's neither of those things. It's just uh, keep on moving forward and keep on doing the, the same thing that I'm doing every single day. Uh, Ryan, sorry. Uh, you've been around this team in what we thought were really big games over the years. These are the biggest ones now. Uh, are you, you know, is it the way you thought it would be in terms of a team that's very calm, a team that's, it's, they don't seem to feel a ton of pressure. You know, is, is this, you've been trying to get here for a long time. Is it the way you thought it was going to be? Um, <clears throat> I mean, that's tough. Cause you just kind of, you, you just are in the moment at the right, at the time. Right. So it's, uh, I mean, and we, we build something throughout the year, obviously, uh, you work on it every day and, and you build confidence throughout the season and, and you win games, you string some games together um, and you believe in that group and, and, and believe in the ability to, to win on any, any given night and that kind of feeds into playoffs and um, I think we've done a great job of staying in the moment, staying poised and confident and uh, just believe in that. I mean, we can go up against anybody and get the job done if we play uh, our game. Take two more, second row right, Andrew. As Stu first, uh, who are you in Mario Kart? Sorry, who am who, I? Who, who are you, yeah? Uh, right now I'm Toad, uh, but honestly, I could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, second, Dallas forwards only had five shots and on goal in the first two periods. What, what are you guys doing to make it so they can't even get a puck on you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing what the guys can do in front of me uh, when we play the, the way that we played tonight. Um, I mean, you just see how hard we back check. Uh, you see, obviously, how hard we forecheck. The neutral zone, we've just, we were able to kind of stymie them tonight. Um, and obviously, they're a very fast team and they're able to get their chances when they had the opportunities. But for the most part, I think we just, we just worked really hard. We got our legs moving tonight. And um, when we're doing that, it makes my job a lot easier when I don't get any shots. Um, but at the same time, I got to be there when uh, when those opportunities do come. And obviously, with an amazing team like Dallas, you know that they're going to get their chances. Last one, far left, Greg. Hey, Ryan. Um, Matthew Shane just before said that he felt the Dallas offense was disjointed, um, and I was wondering how you'd kind of evaluate what they're throwing at you. <clears throat> well, I mean, Stu kind of just touched on it. They're a fast team. Uh, they they try to move the puck up quick and. Uh, and, and kind of catch off guard and, and uh, get some odd man rushes. And I think throughout the series, we've, as, as it's gone along, we've done a better job of managing that. It's, uh, it starts with getting through the neutral zone, not turning pucks over and not giving them anything easy coming back at us. But, and then it's just not, I mean, sometimes you got to live to fight another day. You don't need to be too, too aggressive. And, um, <clears throat> but I mean, I think it does, it's just all about skating up ice back on the back check and, um, if I mean they're they got some skill up front that we want to try to shut down as much as possible, and I think that just starts by not giving them anything too easy.